Hey gorgeous people, what's up? Today we're going to look at one um, legendary fragrance once again and it's line. So I happen to own three of this line. So basically it's the legend Lamal and it's siblings Ultramal and the new baby Lamal Essence to perform. So basically I did a first impression on this and then I talked about the other two in my previous videos but today we're going to look a little bit more detail and then uh, talk a little bit more on each of them and see how they compare you know against each other because they're not exactly the same fragrances all right so basically uh, this fragrance you know first of all I have to mention just like La Nuit de Lom, is the signature scent of Jeremy our fragrance community very popular the fastest growing channel as well his signature scent is La Nuit de Lom. but then this fragrance particularly this one is signature scent for a very long time for my absolute favorite reviewer Mark Robes08 his channel I started my journey watching his reviews and then I have massive respect for this guy you know really really I really respect this guy and yeah so basically this review is going to be a tribute to Mark all right so let's start all right so basically Jean Paul Gaultier is a house that's known for basically a uh, different kind of fragrances they are more like a powerhouse fragrance you know like every single release they have supposed to be very prominent and then you know comes with a bang right their fragrances are never going to be understated like quietly you know subtle nothing subtle about it their female and male fragrances I noticed their signature is sweetness their main focus is sweetness so basically they're known for their loud you know sweetness so basically people who are fan of sweet fragrances they love this Jean Paul Gaultier's house fragrant releases and they also have uh, other releases like Cocorico very love or hate like you know polarizing sort of scent even this one also I think uh, to me this is very polarizing Lamal so basically I happen to own three of these fragrance from this Lamal line so basically as I showed you Lamal Ultramol and you know perform the essence which is just a very recent release so they have tons of flankers for this fragrance guys like if you know Lamal Lamal has been copied not only just the flankers they have tried to replicate this in many other uh, ripoffs they try to copy this you know counterfeit fragrances and stuff Lamal is like those one of those fragrances has been copied numerous times like David of cool water Fahrenheit you'll be seeing the counterfeit bottles everywhere same thing happened to this as well as the flankers so let me tell you some of the flankers that I came across from time to time it has the fresh there's one fresh uh, flanker for this Lamal they have summer tons of summer fragrances summer flankers as well as the there's one La, La Terrible something very terrible which was a terrible fragrance in terms of quality and then also they have that white bottle that I always mention same bottle shape the whole bottle was white it's like a flower edition La, La Fleur, Fleur. <laughs> and then also they had recent like last year or so there was a Popeye edition of this exact same bottle but there was like a sticker or rather tattoo of Popeye on this so basically that got a little bit hype as well so then last year release was the Ultra Mall 2015 I think if I'm not mistaken yeah it's a 2015 Ultra Mall so let's start from the original that started it all Mark's signature fragrance I started my fragrance journey with this and then other fragrance these two were my very first purchases when I started my journey when I was learning about fragrances so basically no regrets as you can see both are very gorgeous scents but then one funny fact moment I bought this and I started using it I fell in love with this right away this was not so easy it was very challenging for me because I didn't get it you know <laughs> honestly speaking I didn't get it like because I am from a summer um, focused sort of a country I am I'm in located in a part of Asia where the Sun is always up and this is not one of the fragrances you can wear and pull off in summer right so basically when I purchased it I sniffed it I like the opening the opening 
you know like burst of this fragrance is very beautiful it has that mint and lavender up top and let me give you the notes as well the prominent notes so basically sorry this one actually was released back in 1995 so i was still in bangladesh before i migrated to malaysia i moved to malaysia in 97 so two years before that it was released and then it has like mint lavender a lot of florals all right i'm not going to mention all the flower notes that's floral notes it's are in this but yeah and it also has a um, orange blossom very beautiful note and then sandalwood yeah as well as tonka bean and cinnamon so basically the tonka bean you know like on the dry down that's what carries this fragrance along with lavender all the way so basically on the opening burst you know back in the days that heavy mint note like very sort of like those uh, lavender mixed with mint that opening gorgeous note used to be very long lasting because it was very potent at the time when it came out first people were crazy about this fragrance as far as i remember i have seen this bottle in many people's collection in their wardrobes people used to have fahrenheit cool water they used to have a uh, isimiyake ck1 and this so back in the days even daniel so all these fragrances that you could see common this was on the common sense in everybody's collection so i believe people who used to use fragrances back then they were not like most of them not aware of the seasons and whatnot so just used to use fragrances anyway so i'm familiar with the fragrance very much but when i bought it at first right so i like the opening but as it starts drying down because i live in a hotter country you don't get the best outcome or output rather from this fragrance it goes very 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 powdery and very strong sort of like nauseating and then you get headache from it headache inducing sort of a scent yeah i'm not saying it's a headache inducing scent but for the season of summer and hot like when the sun is right on top of your head you're sweating like crazy and you have this on you're gonna choke or you're gonna throw up that's sort of <laughs> because that's the reason i got this wrong so basically i brought this in bangladesh i used it and I used like a lot of it like within until this much it went down within a span of like a two or three weeks I keep spraying it keep spraying it so basically I was like not very happy with the fragrance I used a lot of it but it didn't give me the output or rather the performance also it doesn't work so this is basically winter scent that's what is the fact so basically when winter time right now it is December January February in Bangladesh that's when we take this out and this is gonna work really best so on the top, as I mentioned, you get the mint and lavender bomb. Very strong and potent, just like the old formulation. But where it's different, the bottle is, I believe, look, the color combination will be different than the original. But the stopper, original stopper, that the clip, bottle design, everything remains the same. But then, I think the potency has gone down in this. It doesn't last as much as it used to be. But still a very nice fragrance. If you happen to like powdery scents, if you happen to like mint, lavender, and as well as a tonka bean and cinnamon, a little bit cinnamon in this as well, and then the orange blossom. So all the mix of it, it's a very retro sort of a smell. It's not to say it's very modern anymore, because in my opinion, because nowadays the trend of the fragrance is a bit changed. It's, you get a little bit more, right now the trend that's going on is um, more like the noir, more like a sweet and a bit more mature and a bit more up class, like a, how to say not so much of a childishness so more mature and adult scent i think this i really felt mark picked this up because he lives in a cooler country and this when he picked mm -hmm. it up he was a bit mature already so yeah his taste was for mature crowds right so basically yeah i can see why this is his um, signature scent back then so i'm looking forward to wear this in the winter but i believe it's a bit more on the mature side and after the reformulation that took place i think a few years back it's not as potent and in the dead heat you don't want to wear this all right but then it still get many people's book they call this the sex juice people wear this when they want to be naughty and then they want to play be playful and stuff yeah lamal still pretty much is within the game still selling still pretty popular but the lack of the intensity is like you know a little bit getting to this fragrance so the performance i would give this longevity and projection if you if i don't talk about seasons i think with the current formulation it's a 6.5 performance projection it projects very well for first two hours so yeah i'll give this like a 7.5 and then 
compliments wise this is as i told you love or hate not guaranteed everybody is going to like this if you're in the room who are people with you know with around people who hate like sort of like those uh, powdery scents and the bit deeper and then cloying scent they're going to hate this they're going to be choking and they're going to give you looks weird looks but people who are a little bit mature they can appreciate this so basically it's a bit more serious playful but a bit more mature kind of scent i would imagine guy 25 and up to be wearing this all right so let's see what's the next one so next one i believe it solves lot of issues that are with lamal current formulation i'm talking about ultramol i happened to buy this like i went to actually buy lamal because of mark and then i saw this these both were side by side they were the last two bottles in a gift pack or so so i tried this as well alongside this it was very difficult for me to pick one because i could buy only one at the time so i went first with this and i was not not really satisfied i told you this one grew on me much later so i ran after like ran to the store after a few weeks and i remember this scent because i had a spray on this on my arm it lasted me a very long time it lasted me 7 to 8 hours i could still smell my arm not my clothes but my arm so basically love the bottle this was released in 2015 last year as i mentioned and it has improved significantly over the original one in terms of a modern day interpretation of what people like to smell you know like what are the taste what are the expectation from a fragrance and for clubbing whatever back in the days people used to use this for clubbing along with their on million also spice bomb this one became slowly the clubbing king in the fragrance community so let me tell you the notes in this this one has the bergamot pineapple pear lavender cinnamon as well as cedar and patchouli those are the significant notes what i get from this fragrance okay i'll come to the performance and compliments bit later what i get from this fragrance on the opening this fragrance when you spray it for the first time you get that bubble gum people often wonder what is bubble gum you know some people don't know what bubble gum smells like bubble gum smells like very sweet fruity playful and very young not juvenile but very young play play you know when you have colorful kind of gums you see the big you know the transparent box sometimes they put a lot of big big gums and then you make bubbles out of it you know so basically those those sort of colorful gums very nice note of pineapple on up top and that metallic feel to it as i mentioned few days back azaros chrome has that metallic tone to it platinum egoist has the metallic tone to it this one has it so up top you get that pineapple and the combination of pear so those fruitiness you know the fruity fun sort of uh, you know bit more it solves the problem of the lamal which is bit more mature this one it has that youthful vibe so people who are young and looking for to use one jean paul gaultier fragrance for clubbing night out and then also for performance this solves all of them this one is a much better compliment getter much more safer ladies happen to love sweet fragrances so yeah this one solves the problem it lasts on your skin or your clothes 7 to 8 hours easily and then even in malaysia I use this all right this one was not as cloying as the lamal original lamal because the powderiness in this is much lesser all right so the focus mostly on the sweetness so the tonka bean and as well as cinnamon is still there and then lavender still has some lavender in it you can smell faintly you know the traces of lamal in this but totally different sort of a fragrance you can you can distinguish between the two much more potent much more longer lasting and i know uh, my brothers who i know who i talk about talk to about fragrances who are still in the designer game they tell me none of them had caught in bad performance from this all right so yeah so for longevity and projection this one gets 10 out of 10 in my book easily all right easily and uh, compliments if you 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 are within the crowd that you know a bit more uh younger folks you know university college you know that sort of crowd who are not done with their studies yet who are not very much seriously involved in you know their work life stress and all not if you want to think of good days of university days your younger days this is your this can be a signature scent and it works perfectly in, in the cooler condition which i'm looking forward to wear it again and again within this time of the year i tried this on once 
gaming performance. And if you spray on spray this on your clothes and you leave it hanging in your cupboard or something, you can smell it after, even after five days after you apply it on your shirt. You can still smell it, traces of it. Very beautiful scent. The pineapple note is not officially listed in Fragrantica, but I found that note and many people agreed with me. So the pineapple fruitiness, if the same reason, very same reason people like Aventus. Yeah, and one more fragrance that I can always think of when I am looking at this is Pakoraban's Black Excess. That one also has a very nice pineapple note in it. So basically very fun bubble gummy and a bit more uh, modern take and a bit more longevity. It gave the manliness in this, like the manhood that's been sacrificed from Lamal, which made it a bit blur, big bit bit blur, bit like pouring, doesn't give that much playfulness. This one will give you the playfulness. This one will give you the sweetness, flirtiness, all right? So if you're going clubbing and stuff, perfect. Don't wear it in school though. If you're going to school, you're gonna catch attention of your teachers who may think you are being bit, you know, too much playful in the class, all right? So yeah, so my mark for that out of 10 overall score, even though I gave 10 out of 10 every way, I'll give it 9.5 because it's a bit too sweet for my taste, current taste. So 9.5 out of 10, very solid fragrance, of course, as you can see. So the last one, the most gorgeous bottle releases, like in the fragrance game, as I keep saying, this bottle. This, first of all, before I start anything else, I'll give 10 out of 10 for bottle presentation. Once more, you can see how it's nicely shaped looks like a terminator to me it's a terminator i don't know sure as near comes out perfection it has well built <laughs> like throughout you know even the sprayer very beautiful sprays very very nicely Sp give you very beautiful mist and the gold coin stopper looks very nice it's gold up top along with the beautiful purplish bluish sort of a juice all right so yeah so this one is a release of this year it was released 2016, late 2016. And then many people are waiting for it very, very badly who are fan of Jean-Paul Gaultier and event designers, all right? In general, this one was a long-awaited fragrance. And I, ha I happened to get it on the very first day of release in Malaysia. I was very excited, as you know, my story I reviewed, I gave you the first impression. And then a lot of the juice has gone down. Something really happened, bad happened on the way I was traveling from Malaysia to Dhaka. I didn't put this in the can. I wrapped it in within some clothes and then I put it securely but the, unfortunately it got sprayed a couple of times I guess. The shirt that it got sprayed on, the shirt, even after five to six days, the shirt smells very strongly of this fragrance. So basically as you can see, the EDP concentration, this is the new one and this one actually is one, the one that came out with the EDP concentration. So let's see the notes in this all right let me go to the notes first so the official notes and the premier notes in this are cardamom pepper lavender cinnamon cumarin tonka bean and musk so what's new in this fragrance that has been evolved as you know from lamal so the guy who did lamal the perfume he didn't do this there's a new perf perfume for this fragrance right so he gave us he tried to give us something that we were expecting something with a trace of Lamal, but something new. After a few days or a few couple of weeks of testing, I really feel this could be a whole new fragrance. This one is nothing to do with Lamal. You don't get that mint. You don't get that lavender, even though it is in, you know, you know, like it's enlisted. But the thing is, the major player in this on the opening, the cardamom, people often, they're thinking is similar to La Nuit de L'Homme. La Nuit de L'Homme is a different kind of fragrance, but the sweetness, it goes a bit different way. That one has a little bit of uh, bergamot and bit, you know, like lemony sort of uh, traces to it on the opening. This one, a bit more, yeah, the lavender it comes to play a little bit, all right? Along with that, you know, pepper. But the pepper in this, you know, like uh, so far from my testing, it's a very pleasant pepper. It's very prominent when you spray it first, all right? You're gonna get that pepper but mixes nicely with that cardamom so opening you get very warm sweet very softly toned sweetness not heavy 
crazy sweetness like ultramol that you give loud banger you know like you put it on and you know doop 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 your music is going no you're gonna get very relaxed kind of like a grown up vibe from it when you put it on it doesn't project loudly like the other two on the opening note it doesn't do that i believe this is for cooler cooler days in the evening when things are a little bit less noisy the noise from the jam the office hour jam is gone relaxing you're having a cup of tea or your favorite coffee or you're enjoying even your beer so basically in the cooler days this is also cooler day scent so basically <clears throat> the fragrance the things i was expecting from this i you know i'm changing my mind because of what's giving me it's hanging on to your skin for a very long time projecting less but you can get the you know like smell of the fragrance for a very long time it hangs on to your skin that's what edps are all about so basically the trend has been changed from the other two like you know the other two i showed you I'm not going to spray this on my skin i'm sorry i cannot do it because this too will hang on for a very long time and before i go to sleep i don't think i want to spray this on my skin but yeah you spray this and this on your skin the opening notes is going to project like crazy you don't want more than think two to three sprays not more than that i always say go with more most of the fragrance i say spray more six seven i would never ever suggest you especially this if you spray six sprays of this halfway through like you'll notice like something is choking you love something is trying to choke you around your neck the overbearing sweetness is going to kill you <laughs> so basically yeah go with three sprays maximum one on your shirt one on your neck one on your arm and you tap lamal for me you can go maybe four go one on the neck each side one on your chest one on your arm and you tap for this one be different story which is why i love this and i'm going to spray this on my skin i'll show you once again why this is beautiful really, really beautiful and then you can go with more you can afford to go more with this all right take out the thing the stopper and show you the sprayer once again see the sprayer who goes like mist you know like a sweet soft mist and that's why they even the sprayer represent the softness of this fragrance when you spray this at the first time you don't get anything synthetic you don't get anything cloying you get you know like reminds me a little bit of the 1 million but soft and down version it doesn't have the uh, loudness or the cloyingness or the you know like rock sweetness that comes with you like claws <sighs> it's gonna scratch you like you know freddy no this is going to give you very beautiful and then sort of like you get a feeling it could be unisex easily i i feel this is this could be unisex ladies can ladies will love this on them so basically yeah you get a little bit of soft traces of powder you're also gonna get that opening you know like the pepper as i mentioned and as well as cardamom so a bit spicy you know like but a softer side so if i can think of one fragrance that is the softness compares to it i would pick london by burberry that one has the softness more like a personal enjoyment clothes scent skin scent you know but this one is much more longer lasting this one is for big mature crowd just like lamal all right even though different in nature this one would be loved by people who are 25 and up that's what my personal feelings are if you want to get compliments if your partner or your friends or your surrounding people who uh who, who happen to be like you know they are not very jumpy and they're not very much into um, mainstream fragrances like they need like immediately they need like something like blow de chanel okay that's fragrance everybody loves younger older but then younger people when they smell this they might call you a little bit uncle or something like a bit more you know they're going to give you the respect much elder that's sort of like they're going to respect you as if you are the elder person right not very old but maybe 30 and up mature guy they're going to give you like maybe a boss you know employees versus the boss so this is the boss i'm telling you this is like a boss kind of a scent who's confident who is mature and his confidence level is so high he's wearing something that he's not projecting so loudly but he's sitting there in the boss's chair and 
controlling the whole world or at least his office this two when i put side by side yeah they are much more louder and stronger in terms of projection even though they're edt being edp this one it's longer lasting hang on to your skin for a very long and nice period of time and if you want something you want to use indoors night dinner out parties like parties that you know includes like also the art exhibition you're going to go at museum you're going to see stuff like uh, paintings or people are doing some cooking gourmand sort of an affair people are there chefs around and they're like you know giving you food and you're trying it out and you being the judge food critic yeah i think they can use this this is not built for sport this is not maybe built for night out clubbing but yes if you're going out on a night drive with your lady and you're driving a very Imagine like a nice car, heavy car, with a maybe an, not an Aston Martin. Maybe I see um, what can I say? A Mercedes Benz, or maybe BMW 7 Series, or you're going with a Rolls Royce. Yes, perfect. When I think of Rolls Royce, I think of this fragrance because to me, my designer world, I have very few fragrances that give me that posh feeling. This is the posh fragrance. By the way, I have all the bottles here, all 125 ml. So basically, I'm looking forward for a very long time to use it. So basically, yeah, my marks for this longevity and projection. Longevity, this is good. This is 9. Projection, little weak, 6.5. Compliments, I just got this. And I already got a couple of compliments from people, mostly ladies, yeah. Those comments were, that's a very nice fragrance. It was not like, wow. It was not wowed, but then, you know, confidently, it was good. So basically, yeah, I'm hoping to get, you know, good wearings from this, like, into in the winter time, as even as is a winter scent. So basically, so when you compare side by side, the first two, Lamal and Ultramal, built for a bit more people who are uh, younger. Like, even this, when I say 25 and up, but still, imagine someone is 25 and up, still young, right? So basically, he is like a bit careless, he's carefree. This guy don't care about a thing. They have nothing to worry. They have the whole life ahead of them. Go crazy. Your whole university life, this will serve you as a true friend, your bestie, you know, your BFF. The last one, even though I said 25 and up, but more like 30 and up. Office people, married people, people who are already, you know, established and they have not that much worry or uh, that much uh, jumpiness around them. More quiet, calm, and then also confident. That's the sign. So that's how I distinguish the three. So basically, yeah. So uh, all winter scent, as I mentioned, all very good worth for your money. But if you want me to go like um, number one, number two, number three, I'll say for performance, the best one is Ultra Mall. All round scent, smell, performance, Best value for money is Ultra Mall. Number two, I'll go with Lamal Essence EDP. The last one would be Lamal. I'm sorry, guys, but the everybody's you know take for their fragrances is different. You know how they like it on the skin. Maybe my skin is not built for Lamal that well, but then I still like it. I use it once in a while, not as much because the powdery scent sometimes mixed with the mint is sometimes a bit too much. But yeah, but still pretty nice scents. All right, so. Uh, one last thing I want to say before I go, that is, when you want to choose a fragrance, all right, don't ever, ever blind buy, because I know many people don't have that option, because they don't have the samples around them, like in our country, Bangladesh, we don't have any designer fragrance houses, sadly, we don't have any houses, only few uh, shops in our capital city, Dhaka, they carry it, and then they have no testers, so there's no way in hell you can know what they smell like you have to blind buy them and there are a lot of counterfeit fragrances that comes from dubai china and whatnot very high quality but then people you know they spend crazy amount of money 400 like yeah like 100 us dollars 150 us dollars and then some of them they order online amazon and stuff so it's not easy to get access to the fragrances but then many people they still buy it because they crave for fragrances as i mentioned before so basically yeah Try to get your friend, like try to build a community, like try to know more people who use fragrances and try to see the fragrance right on your skin, maybe. 
you know, and see what it does for you. Because I always say this also, right? You can never ever describe a scent of a perfume, like a fragrance. You can never ever describe it perfectly. Yes, you can say this note, that note, but what does it smell like? No one knows what Lamal smells like unless they smell it. So my suggestion is try to get a sniff of it, you know, like see and also how it works in your skin. Look at the weather, all right? Don't blame the fragrance sometimes like you're wearing something of a winter fragrance in dead heat and you're sweating and it's like so hot and you think the fragrance sucks. No, I don't think Lamal sucks. It's just the right country to wear this this kind of fragrance but during the winter yeah it will give you the best performance so basically yeah and then also one last tip that is plan your buy your purchase like when you want to buy your fragrance you know it gets very difficult when you go to the shop like when happens to me for many times when i go to the mall and i go around and around and then i actually wanted to buy something then i see a few other new fragrances then i get totally confused that time you know if i didn't plan my fragrance if I don't know what I want, it will be very painful for me because I'll be confused and I might end up buying the wrong fragrance, which happens to many people and then they regret it later. Don't waste your hard-earned money. Most of the people I know, they work hard for their money, but some people, they have obscene amount of money. To them, it's okay. But for people, you know, like who really work hard and then they really are collectors and passionate, make sure you write down all the things that you need from your next purchase and you see the fragrance thoroughly in and out so you know what the fragrance is gonna give you right and then try to get it you know try it on your skin and give it some time don't buy it based on your top notes all right so basically yeah so i think for today or real long video once again all right i'm sorry about that but then three fragrances had to talk about them and then they are still very proudly standing in my collection all right i'll be using them all for winter so give it a try guys if you haven't tried these are all recommended and uh, do you know post your comments keep encouraging me and then i'll be making some more videos for you guys all right i'll review some more fragrances i have a lot more to go so take care guys enjoy your winter see you soon